guys, look where I am. I'm wearing a very cool hat and veil to keep to protect my face from the bees because I'm sitting in front of my friend Tasha's honey bee hive. Look, how cool. See the opening where the bees come in and out and then where they live and they put their honey? I've got a book called Will Be the Bumblebee to read to you today. The story is by Craig Smith and Maureen Thompson, illustrated by Katz Cowley. And um, Craig Smith wrote one of my favorite books called The Wonky Donkey that I'll be reading to you soon. Will Be the Bumblebee lives his life in your garden so happily. Up early in the morning till, e till the evening hour, flying around from flower to flower. Now everybody knows, I suppose, without bees in your garden, nothing grows. They take the pollen where it's to where it's supposed to be. That's how nature works. Good job, Wilby. Now bumblebees, from the day they're born, wear a black and yellow jersey just to keep them warm. And Wilby's was special. It was a perfect fit because Wilby's mother had knitted it. Wilby was out on one sunny day and known to him, his jersey had begun to fray and his jersey caught where it was torn right on the end of a rose's thorn. Uh-oh. And as Wilby flew away, he did not stop. His jersey unraveled from the bottom to the top. And when he realized this, he lost his hum. He was showing the whole garden his bare bum. Well, with no jersey and being late in the day, Wilby was so cold, he couldn't fly away. He was frightened and all alone, and all he wanted to do was to go home. Now Monica the butterfly, she flew down. She told Wilby to wipe off his frown. She'd seen what had happened and thought she knew what to do. She gathered all the wool up and off she flew. With the unraveled wool, she flew to fly Spider Steve and asked him for his help because she knew he could weave. With a twist of his arm, he'd, she had him agree and he would weave the wool they had and make a new jersey. Now Spider Steve, he finished so quickly, he used a pattern he found in the Women's Weekly. Moni with a smile, she thanked him so, but Wilby needed help and now she had to go. found Wilby where he was last. She said, quick, put this on really, really fast. With his new jersey on, he got back his hum. His bits were warmed up, even his bum. Wilby hugged Moni with a great big thank you. He asked her to thank Spider Steve for him too. But now back to his house he had to go for he knew his mom would worry because she loved him so. Now on a sunny day in your backyard, you might still see Wilby working hard from flower to flower and carefree wearing his new black and yellow jersey. The end. I love you guys. Thanks, Tasha, for letting me come stand over here by your beehive and read a book. I appreciate it. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, guys.